Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, everyone. This is your English teacher from the Tamayiz Model School for Boys. Inshallah, in this video, we are going to study uh, lesson six in your workbook, pages 60 and 61. And still, the topic of our unit is the power of technology. So, in this video, inshallah, we are going to study more specifically or to practice more about models and which sentences or which clauses and uh, you will learn how to improve your writing using linking words that uh, we studied in the, pre in the previous lesson using linking words so let's get started please open your workbook page 60 and the first exercise exercise number one all you have to do is to complete the sentences you have to complete the sentences or the conversations with uh, the correct verb form, of course, using one of the models. Okay, so uh, take your time, fin uh, think of uh, the answers, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Uh, of course, the uh, choices that we have or the models that we are going to use can, can't, could, couldn't, and three forms of able to. We studied that can and could, we are talking about general ability. But if we talk about able to, it's in a specific situation. So let's get started. What's on TV tonight? I can't read my newspaper without glasses. Where are your glasses? I lost them two days ago. Two days ago. I read anything since then. So, I haven't been able to. Uh, as we know, we can uh, use have plus post participle if we have the sentence uh, since in the sentence so you have to use have been able to i haven't been able to read anything since then and i read anything until i get my new glasses tomorrow 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 so you have to use exactly want or will not means will not be able to Next, you drive a car. Here I'm talking or I'm asking about general ability. So can you drive a car? Yes, I can. Can you drive a car? Yes, I can. I passed my test last week. Great. You drive me to airport tomorrow morning. You drive me to the airport tomorrow morning. Here. It's something of polite request. A polite request, which is more polite than can, you can use could. Could you drive me to the airport? Could you help me? It's more polite than can. No, sorry, I, my car's in the garage. I, my car's in the garage. I can't because my car is in the garage. So this is the answer of the question. No, I can't. Next, you fly a plane. Still, still, we are talking about general ability. You fly a plane. Can you fly a plane? Well, I probably could if I had to. If I had to, so it's past. But I have never had flying lessons. I could if I had to. How many languages you speak, still talking about general ability, how many languages can you speak? Oh, two now, but when I was three years old, I speak four. Here, uh, ability in the past simple, so I could, I could speak four. I only speak Arabic, but I'd love speak two or three so i can only speak arabic right now and i'd love to 
be able to speak two or more three uh, two or three so uh, i love to be able to i teach you french if you like so i can teach you french i can teach you french if you like can you or could you could you hear uh, something like polite request brilliant could you brilliant when can we start can we start so this is the first exercise so be careful when you use the models be you uh, be careful of the tense and the meaning of course exercise number two as i said you have to practice more about using linking words all you have to do in this exercise is to use words from the box what are uh, the words for example for instance namely to summarize in short in conclusion these are the words uh, or the linking words that we're going to use in this exercise take your time i'll be back in a minute Okay, let's start using the words uh, in this text. People need to wear glasses for different reasons. For example, some people feel completely lost without their glasses. Others only need them for watching TV or, or reading. In short, uh, every eye problem is different. Again, we used for example, to uh, explain more or to uh, give an example of the reasons. And in the end, we use, in short, every I problem is different. Advancements in technology, such as, such as uh, the development of the contact lens, are helping people repair their eyesight. For instance, more and more people now we have the option of permanent operations, namely laser surgery. In conclusion, or to summarize, you can use one of them. Modern science means that ordinary glasses may soon become a thing of the past. A thing of the past. Next exercise we're going to practice about wish sentences or wish clauses. Take your time to finish these sentences using the correct verb in brackets. Okay, let's start with the first one. As we studied in the previous lesson, we have two, uh, two cases of wish. Wish in the present and wish in the past. So I wish, I wish it possible to finish the work tonight. So I'm not talking about past regrets. I'm uh, hoping something will be different in the future. So using the past simple of be, I wish it were, as I said in the previous lesson, use were all the time. I wish it were possible. She wished she how to sue. She wished in the past, so she had known how to sue. You wished you wished in the past, so you had felt better. You had felt better. I wish I the subject more interesting. I wish the the situation to be different so i wish that subject if i wish i found found just use the past simple they will wish it as i said well it's in the present 
so uh, sorry in the future so you have to use the past it were warmer i wish the uh, weather to be different in the future so so just use in the past simple okay uh, exercise number four in page 61 uh, you have to use wish sentences using the cues provided we have cues provided for example i not eaten so much lunch too full here we have to finish or to complete or to make a meaningful sentences using wish so it will be like this i wish we hadn't eaten so much at lunch i'm too full uh, too full today we just use the cues provided to make a full sentences or to make a full sentence using wish in this exercise take your time you have a, a b c two uh, letter j i'll be back in a minute Okay, the first one. We won the match play this weekend. We won the match play this weekend. Now, have you found the answer? Can you make a meaningful sentence using wish? Exactly. I wish we had played this weekend. We could have won the match. If we had played this weekend, we could have won the match. Sentence B. You not do that really irritating. You not do that really irritating. That means annoying. Yes, exactly. I wish you hadn't done that. It was really irritating. I wish you hadn't done that. Uh, it was really irritating. I studied harder pass exam. I studied harder pass exam. I wish I had studied harder. I would have uh, I would have passed the exam. Again, I wish I had studied harder. I would have passed the exam. Sentence D. Teacher not given homework relax tonight teacher not given homework relax tonight yes exactly i wish the teacher hadn't hadn't given us any homework i would have relaxed tonight i would have relaxed tonight sentence e I not missed the bus. I uh, arrived on time, not told off. I not missed bus, arrived on time, not told off. I wish I hadn't missed the bus. I would have arrived on time and not been told off. I wish I hadn't missed the bus. Sentence F. I entered competition one prize so he regrets not entering the competition so he can say i wish i had entered the competition i would have won a prize i wish i had entered the competition g you told me problems i help i help so i wish you had told me about your problems i could have helped you i wish you had told me about your problems i could have helped you i stay up late not tired today he regrets staying up late so he wished huh? i hadn't stayed up late i wish i hadn't stayed up late Last night, I wouldn't have been tired today. 
sentence I. I not spent money buy new book. Here he regrets not spending, or sorry, he regrets spending too much money. So I wish I hadn't spent all my money. I wish I hadn't spent all my money. I would have bought that new book. I would have bought that new book. I gun shopping, new game, not bored. I gun shopping, new game, not bored. I wish I had gun shopping for a new game. I wish I had gun shopping for a new game. I wouldn't have felt bored. So, as you can see, we use wish for past regrets. This is the end of our lesson today. Thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed this video and inshallah, see you in other videos. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.